Hey guys, Gray Ranger here. What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Marvel Contest of Champions. And I don't know if you guys got the same message that I did, but it just came out today. And this is huge, huge news for Alliance Quest. As far as I'm concerned, it is. So here is the end game message Alliance Quest update. Greetings, Summoner. Are you looking for a new alliance? Be aware, starting on August 17th, summoners must have been a member of an alliance for a period of time before becoming eligible for Alliance Quest rank and milestone rewards. The period of time summoners must be in an alliance to become eligible for rewards varies depending on your Alliance Quest tier. Summoners joining alliances in higher tiers will have a longer wait to become eligible for rewards whereas summoners joining lower tier alliances will have shorter eligibility durations for more details please visit our forums and i'll get into that here in just a second because i've got it pulled up in another screen this is huge the big issue that i had a while back with the whole alliance quest stuff whenever i was running an alliance was I didn't want to get sucked into the alliance swapping and the dropping of players to uh, boost prestige. And Kabam has finally, finally fixed the issue. Now, I'm not a, I'm not a leader of an alliance anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. But I've still tried to kind of stay in alliances that don't hop around and do that kind of stuff. I just joined a new alliance. We just won uh, a tier 4 class in this last uh, alliance quest in Gifted. So I'm happy to be a part of this team now. And we, we did it, we did it uh, pretty much legit. I mean, we had to bring in a couple of people extra, I think, because of the fact that people left... But this is going to put a stop, and I'm not in charge of it either, so I really don't care. That's another big thing. Whenever I'm in charge of something, I don't, I don't, I want to play it by the rules. I want to play it by the way things were meant to be played. And now Kabam has finally put a stop to this. And now the big reason that I like this is because of the fact that this is going to open up tons of top spots. It's going to open up top spots in Incalculable. It's going to open up top spots in Gifted. It's going to open up top spots in Superhuman. It's going to open up top spots in Peak. Because there were people locking down spots by jumping back and forth every single week. This is going to make things a lot, a lot better. So don't be surprised whenever this starts... Don't be surprised if you were hitting lower on the rankings and, and now you're hitting higher on the rankings because you don't have to worry about stuff being locked down. Number one, this, this issue solves the mercenary problem where you have people, I don't know if you guys know about mercs or mercenaries or not, but these people, there's, there's sub forums for them and everything where they don't want to be tied down strictly to an alliance but they want to get tier 4 class every single week and their prestige is high enough to allow them to do that so they just hop back and forth between alliances every single week that we're getting you know tier 4 classes every other week so they would hop between alliances and they would get tier 4 class every single week because of it so they were they were benefiting from the fact that they had a high prestige and that people absolutely needed members with high prestige to get advanced in a lights quest. Now this the other key thing that this stops is a lights swapping. A lights swapping is a huge deal because of the fact that there were a lot of people that felt slotted because they couldn't compete with the the top one percent that's that's just what it is people couldn't compete with the top one percent in incalculable 
and they couldn't get the the tier four class that they were the one percent were getting every single week so they felt like well we should be able to get that too so we're just going to come up with a way to fix the system so that we get it every single week and it only benefited a one percent of them that's that's the that's the flawed logic here the one percent in alliance quest are one percent because they're willing to spend out the rear end to be one percent they should be allowed to have that that luxury of doing it because they're spending tons of money so let them have it period that's all there is to it there's no way to compete with them because of the fact that they're willing to spend more money turning around and being like well this week we'll get a reward in incalculable and you'll get a reward in superhuman and then we'll just swap back and forth back and forth so that we keep doing the same only created more problems because it was locking out the rest of the 99 percent again you took the one percent and they were doing their thing in incalculable and then you came down and you took like a two and three and four percent and you started doing the same exact crap you complained about not getting tier four class every week because you felt like you were locked out by people that were not so much better than you but willing to spend money than you this is a this isn't a free game this is a free to this is a freemium game you you get what you put into it pretty much basically and your complaint was well we're not getting the same rewards as that top one percent so we want that top one percent reward so we're just going to lock everybody else out of getting rewards too and it was getting really bad it was getting really bad i remember whenever i was the leader of the the alliance that i left we were legit playing getting tier four class every other week and that was the way that you could do it legit and then we started getting locked out because of all this crap not because of the fact that anything else it was this crap because we were ranking up rank fives we were leveling up characters the way we were supposed to and then we dropped out we got knocked out and it's because of this crap here so yeah it, it did piss me off a little bit I'm sorry for the rant but it does piss me off a little bit just because you feel entitled to the point to where you think you should be the 1% doesn't mean you should go and kick the guy down below you who's not willing to do the same things you are and do it just to benefit your 2-4% to 4%, period and finally Kabam has done something about it with this here now let's jump over to the forums and we'll take a closer look here season three alliance prize blackout period details this is from kabam mike who has been a lot of people thought he was the he was the godsend <laughs> of the uh ad admin community i don't know if they still feel the same way anymore because of the fact he actually answers in a more prompt uh, style but i think he's he's pretty much you know he works for the company he's not really looking out for anybody but hello all as we mentioned when we announced the Conqueror's return, we are implementing a prize blackout period that will prevent players from exploiting content in-game. This blackout period will affect users in all alliances and is aimed to not only dissuade the alliance hopping issue, but also pre to prevent any potential future exploits for being, from being created in more than just alliance quests. The length of the blackout periods will vary depending on the event and bracket they are referring to. Information on other events will be announced before they take effect. After a player joins a new alliance, they are subject to the prize blackout period. During this period, players are still able to earn points for their alliance and receive map crystals for participation daily, but will not be eligible for rank or milestone rewards which is the big thing that is the big key thing rank rewards not the milestone so much the rank rewards this blackout period will start to affect players on august 12th so just as soon as this finishes up all players should be in the alliance they intend to compete with for the foreseeable future by this day 
Our intention with this blackout period is to address a lot of concerns that we've seen related to alliance hopping and how this behavior can impact the performance of alliances within the contest. Yes, it, it was a huge issue. We made a big, huge issue out of it here on the forums, and it took them this long to figure that out. That was months ago. Where was I at? While we expect to see some negative feedback from players that have been utilizing this alliance hopping tactic, we hope that players that have expressed frustration related to this practice can take comfort in knowing that we are working to address the issue and dissuade such behavior. Players in alliances in the account incalculable, superhuman, and gifted brackets will experience a 10-day blackout period in alliance quest following a change in alliances. Players in alliances in the peak and hum peak human and normal bracket will be subject to a six-day blackout period in alliance quest following a change in alliances. Players in the alliance in the training bracket will be subject to a three day because really training's not that big of a deal anyway so I can understand that but the other two are, are massive six and ten day lockouts from rank and milestone rewards it's it's a huge deal it really is a huge deal many of the changes we have made to season three of Alliance Quest have been done in order to ensure that things can be shaken up a bit in other words, competition is now more fierce than ever and it will be harder for anyone given group to hold dominance for extended periods of time. Now, I don't believe that. I don't believe that one bit. The top 1% are still going to be the top 1% because those guys weren't even alliance hopping anyway. It was the ones just below the top 1% that were doing this to hold other people back. Now, you can say, well, they weren't holding people back. They were just taking advantage of the system to the best of their ability because they felt slighted. Well... That's still slighting other people. It really is. You know, two wrongs don't make a right. They really don't. I know three rights make a left, but <laughs> two wrongs don't make a right. Period. You either play the game the way it's meant to be played, or you don't play it at all. And it seems like that's the big key thing going on here now, is that a lot of people are going to be leaving the game because of the fact that this is done. There are alliances dissolving. Which is, I mean, in my opinion, that's fair. Because there were a lot of alliances that dissolved because of the fact that this crap was going on to begin with. And caused a lot of good players, legit players, to stop playing the game to begin with. That's that's all there is to it. I, I'm sorry about your luck. But, this is this is a good thing. To me. I have, I have been a strong advocate for something like this for a long time now. Kabam has finally done it. This is one of the best things that I have seen that Kabam has done in a long time, in my eyes. But, alright guys, uh, I think that's enough of a rant for this one. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. If it's your first time watching the channel and you enjoyed this video and the content, please consider leaving a sub on it. And as always guys, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.